Today, we are with Professor Vinay Nambudri from IIT Kanpur, who works in the field of artificial intelligence and computer vision. Thank you, sir, for taking out time for this interview. Thanks, Shiv. <laughs> Chance. So, we'll start with the questions. So, the first one is like, can you please describe a bit about your field of expertise? So, uh, I work in what is uh, known as artificial intelligence and uh, specifically I work in area known as computer vision. And there, the aim is that uh, now we as humans can see very well and sight is possible, we know that is possible and we want to give the same ability to computers that they should also be able to see and understand things the way we understand. And that lies sort of at the core of artificial intelligence and lots of interesting problems like how do we see things, how do we understand things, what are objects, what are, uh, what's the stable, what's colors of things around us and uh, is the person understanding or not understanding the emotions. All of these are extremely fascinating problems uh, which we try to solve in this field and uh, then the uh, idea is that at some point these things will be used by computers, robots, self-driving cars and all these things which can uh, help uh, improve our life more. So we are on the verge of what is known as the AI revolution and I guess that is this field plays a large part in this area. Thank you for that answer. So can you please describe a bit about like the major challenges or the hot topics in your field that are like still unsolved? So uh, surprisingly, a uh, large number of problems which were hard just a few years back are now being solved by the computers quite nicely and by the AI systems quite nicely. And uh, for instance, we uh, uh, are now able to have systems like face recognition better than humans can uh, recognize things and there uh, or being able to detect pedestrians as well as uh, as good as a human would do and we are able to do that quite well but having said that there are a number of challenges where these systems rely on a lot of data to understand or know what a object or an entity is so for instance you have to give lots of faces for a computer to be able to recognize and uh, then the challenge is if I, but humans can understand just by a few samples that we just give a few examples of a person. For instance, I show you a few images of Shivam and you know who Shivam is. And so you don't need to give lots of examples. And we want to uh, solve uh, things at scale that is with large number of differences uh, with few examples. And that would help a robot or a self-driving car to understand on the fly what is going on in the situation and adapt. And that is the main goal of now the uh, remaining problems in artificial intelligence that on the fly we should be able to adapt to the new challenge which emerges and uh, be able to solve that. And as humans we are very good in doing it that if we face a novel situation we adapt and the AI, uh, I think that's a big challenge that we have to come up with AI systems which are able to adapt on the flight. Thank you, sir. So, can you please brief us about some of the problems that you have worked on? So, uh, I have worked on a number of problems and lately we have worked on a very interesting problem uh, known as uh, uh, visual IQ kind of thing. That is, you might have seen multiple choice questions in intelligence question, quotient tests which try to measure the IQ of humans where we give five examples of uh, some uh, pattern and you have to guess which is the sixth pattern. Right? And so that is a nice uh, example of a uh, problem because here you have very few data and humans can solve it quite nicely, understand what is the underlying pattern and solve it quite nicely. So lately we have been able to, with very little data, we have been able to solve this problem quite nicely and we did the tests with class 10 students and our own VTech computer science students and we don't beat our VTech computer science students <laughs> yet but we are close to the class 10 students in terms of the providing the IQ 
of the level of uh, class 10 student using our AI techniques. <laughs> That's really interesting. <laughs> yeah. So, now speaking a bit general, so what do you think are the perks of working in like computer science or, or, or specific to your field too, for students, for professors? Yeah. So, perks, I think uh, there are a number of perks. Uh, biggest perk is uh, you get to solve fascinating problems like artificial intelligence, which are at the core of our consciousness and so on. And that in itself is a great uh, uh, inspiring or motivating factor. And further, uh, we you get to work with very intelligent students like Shivam. <laughs> and uh, so that, that, that is indeed a perk that you get to work on challenging problems with challenging people, like with uh, very good people. And also uh, now uh, the area is uh, having lots of applications. And the people who are able to solve this are extremely in high demand. <laughs> and so, a uh, huge number of companies are vying for getting to work with these people. And large number of startups are being founded, which are using these techniques. And so, you can go at it either intellectually, monetarily, uh, <laughs> or uh, spiritually, or any other way. And all of these are good perks for working in this area. <laughs> Thank you, sir. So, like you mentioned a bit about the career options, can you describe a bit more about the career options that exist in computer science and specifically to your field too? So computer science, uh, I think, is uh, now uh, it's well known that it's at the uh, forefront of all jobs. All jobs are being transformed in some way by use of uh, computer science principles and mainly algorithms and using of uh, uh, nice algorithms which solve problems are attacking almost every uh, aspect of our life. So from the taxi that we used to actually call people, which is now replaced by an app, to uh, robots solving lots of industrial problems and now making inroads into our personal life as well. So uh, in all these cases, uh, all facets of our life are being affected by computer science. And to some extent, AI is, I think, now uh, quite core in all these. And now uh, the people who are able to solve these uh, problems using AI or using machine learning or any of these branches of artificial intelligence, they are in, uh, very much required to actually bring all these transformations into account. So I think that there are lots of career options in every field in every industry, uh, whether it is uh, uh, the actual technology as in information technology uh, services or any of these things or in any other manufacturing or any classical industry as well because AI is now transforming all these industries. Thank you, sir. So some final suggestions or comments for like computer science beginners or just beginning in these fields. So, so while uh, beginning, uh, things seem hard uh, <laughs> and, uh, I can that. <laughs> and uh, things seem magical, but uh, what you will understand by digging deep into it is that it is a series of very simple steps. Each of these uh, advances that people are making, uh, at its core, it's a very simple principle or a simple idea, which takes it to the next level. And it's... You, you, there are hundreds of ideas, but uh, you don't need to be daunted by that. So what you would require is just the ability to grasp each single idea at a time. And that would be quite nice to make efforts and progress quickly. And what helps is each idea uh, building on top of each of these ideas. And the way that we build upon all these ideas uh, helps us solve lots of uh, fantastic problems and the end result uh, looks like magic but each of these steps in turn are quite simple it's just a small advance with advancement with a small simple idea and so i would advise that uh, things look uh, daunting things look like you have to learn a lot but uh, let that not stop you from learning you just whatever idea you manage to grasp that is an advancement and you would have progressed in your effort. 
so so that's the advice to beginners <laughs> Thank you, sir, mm-hmm. for taking your time for this interview. It was very interesting to talk to you. Thank yeah. you. Thanks, you for the chance. <laughs> nice talking to you, <laughs> as always. <laughs> <laughs>